Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Eisenetz and today I have a quick rundown of my top 5 cards for CDH from the new Warhammer 40k Commander decks. Personally I am super hyped about this product because next to magic, Warhammer 40k is my favorite nerdy thing. I just love the lore, the aesthetics of all the different races and characters and I am very happy that both of these universes now overlap with this product. I don't know about you, but I am definitely grabbing the collector's edition for the Chaos and the Imperial deck because I just need to have them. Anyway, let's have a look at what I think are the best cards from this product for CDH, and as always, cards are in alphabetical order. Number 1. Abaddon the Despoiler This Grixis Nost Commander is a 5 mana 5-5 five five with Trample and it reads During your turn, spells you cast from your hand with mana value X or less have Cascade, where X is the total amount of life your opponents have lost this turn. So, post-combat you can easily give a great portion of your spells Cascade, which can allow you to snowball into tons of value. More importantly though, you can abuse the Cascade ability to play suspend cards like Profane Tutor, Ancestral Visions or Wheel of Fate. Abaddon is definitely not only incredibly flavorful, but also a very solid Grixis commander that will see some play in CEDH. Number 2. Chaos Mutation this 5 mana instant speed polymorph effect can not only polymorph your token into a win con, but it can also polymorph your opponent's hate bears or win cons away. You can use this to just polymorph your rock rack into a hellbreaker horror, while also getting rid of that Lavinia, Thalia or whatever other kind of hate bear might be stopping you from winning the game. I'm expecting this to see some play in it based polymorph decks, most likely to more polykraken, a very nice addition especially being an instant. Number 3. Magus Lukia Kane. This 4 mana Timur commander buffs one of your creatures every turn, but more importantly it allows you to copy spells with X and their casting cost, which can be abused fairly easily to gain value or even win the game. Cards like Drown and Dreams or Blue Suns suddenly become way more mana efficient, especially since Lukia Kane can also tap for 2 colorless mana. You can also double down on your Walking Ballista to control the board, and this is the most fun part, you can copy a huge Court of Calling or Finale of Devastation to tutor up two creatures that will win you the game, like Kiki Jiki and Hyrex Tower Scout. Number 4. Marneos Kalgar This 5 mana 3-5 Esper Commander with Double Strike has a triggered and an activated ability. The triggered ability reads, whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, draw a card. The activated ability reads, pay 6, create 2 white Astratus Warrior creature tokens with Vigilance. These effects obviously synergize, because every time you create a token, you will also draw a card. Add training grounds to the equation and now you can create 2 tokens and draw a card for only 4 mana. Add Ashnod's Altar to that and you can draw your deck. Also, the activate ability is a dump for infinite mana, so this commander also works as an outlet for Isochron Scepter plus Dramatic Reversal, which will give you tons of creatures and allow you to draw your deck. So we got a good color identity, card draw, token engine, compact combo and value packages, but one card that absolutely gets broken with this commander is Smothering Tithe. Every time your opponents don't pay for Tithe, you will get to create a treasure token and draw a card. That's just crazy. Number 5. Trace in the Infinite. This 6 mana 4-6 mono black commander with death touch has all the activated abilities of all artifacts in your graveyard. We all know Necrotic Ooze, and Ooze is probably the better choice, but Ooze can't be your commander, whereas Trazen can. There are probably a bazillion combos you can put together in your graveyard, but the most compact one can be enabled with a single card, Bury the Life. You cast it and put three artifact creatures into your graveyard, like Walking Ballista, Triskelion and Phyrexian Devara. Or you can use Palladium Mirror, Pilipala and Walking Ballista. The pieces are very easily assembled with other cards that mill your deck or tutor to the graveyard like Entomb or Unmarked Grave. All you then need to do is ramp into your commander and boom, you've got a win. And that's it for my top 5. Overall this product seems much stronger than other commander precons and the cards or decks seem way more synergistical. There isn't a lot of stuff for CDH unfortunately, but the precons overall seem very high powered and we'll see what people come up with in the future. If you think I missed something, please let me know in the comment section. So thank you for watching my video, if you enjoyed it please remember to like, share, subscribe and comment, hop over to my discord server if you want to play some games, and if you want to support this channel even more you can find the link to my patreon page down below. This is Eisenerz and Auf Wiedersehen.